I think that uh, what we're hearing is probably the same as you're hearing. Uh, we do have direct contact with the uh, union that represents those workers, but uh, to be very blunt, they don't know a heck of a lot more than we know. Yeah. And uh, there are some real concerns about whether the public, uh, both in Japan and internationally, are getting uh, the facts as we should, as quickly as we should. And I would say that uh, I was once the union representative at a facility that uh, mined and uh, refined uranium. And uh, I know how dangerous this stuff is, and I know how dangerous it is to get overexposure. And I know what the, uh, the sort of the practical reality is. If you end up getting uh, radiation sickness, uh, that's the first step. You may survive the radiation sickness, but your probability of some future cancer is extremely, extremely high. Uh, from the kind of uh, exposure you've had to radon daughters and to gamma rays and things like that. So I think that there's uh, a real need to make sure that the information that's coming out is coming out uh, accurately and as quickly as possible. And those 50 workers really are heroes because if they are successful in stopping a meltdown of either the spent, or not spent fuel, but the used fuel or the existing reactors, they will probably have prevented a uh, very, very, very serious catastrophe. Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our program available free to public television stations coast to coast. If you would like to see our show on your local public television station, please give them a call and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders. Thanks.